G'day guys, how's it going? My name is Sean, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. What I do here is I do tech tutorials, I do reviews and the occasional unboxing on products that I buy. And today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing and review on a product called the Mophie Power Station USB Type-C XXL battery. So let's begin. Okay, so before I jump into the unboxing of the battery, um, I thought maybe what I'd do is quickly share with you the product from the Mophie website here. So I've got the Mophie website open on my um, iPad, so it's mophie.com. And the one that we're looking at is the Power Station USB Type-C XXL, retails for US dollars $149.95. So in Australia, I actually picked up this battery pack for $219.95. So a little bit more expensive here in Australia um, from the Apple Store. Um, so as I mentioned, this battery pack is meant for devices with USB Type-C, but it's also got a USB port on it as well. Um, as we scroll down here, you can pick up some uh, additional cables if you need them. Um, some of the photos here show the battery plugged into what looks like a 12-inch MacBook, um, to an iPad, to the 12-inch iPad, um, so, and I think they're trying to show off the fact that it's got like this textured kind of um, outside on it as well. Um, it says here 19,500 milliamp hours. So quite a lot of capacity inside of that battery. Um, 30 watts fast charging. So that's gonna be great if your device, like maybe an iPhone 10 um, or 10S or 10R supports fast charging, or even if you've got a Samsung that does quick charge, it will do that. Uh, premium fabric wrap, um, priority plus charging. Connect the power station battery to a wall adapter in the evening. Oh, okay, so what this means is that you can actually have the battery charging from the wall outlet and also still charging the device that you're connected to um, all at the same time. So I guess the idea is that in the morning your battery will be full and so will the device and you only need to carry the one adapter to charge. Um, LED power indicator next generation of universal power and then it's got down here some sort of guidelines on how much extra power you'll get so for an iphone 70 sorry an iphone 7 plus 66 hours galaxy tab s3 if anyone still uses a galaxy tab 27 hours um, and for a macbook 14 hours so that's not talking about a macbook pro or macbook air that's just the standard 12 inch macbook so depending on your device you might get more or might get less um, but I think the 19,500 milliamp hours, um, if you know, I guess, the capacity of the battery of the device that you're charging, you can kind of just do a divide and you can see how many times you'll be able to recharge it here. Um, if we go into the reviews, because I think it's always important to check out what people are saying about it before you go ahead and buy it. Um, so reviews here, a lot of people are saying, meant for Apple products, great design, uh, I bring it everywhere so you know it's quite small and compact you can take it obviously wherever you need especially if you're going to be away from a power outlet for a long time um, someone's mentioned here that I saw it before that you got to remember that it's only a 30 watt power output so if you're trying to charge a device like a 15 inch MacBook Pro for example or the 13 inch MacBook Pro which has um, a requirement of 60 watts going into it um, you might find that if you're doing something like exporting video in Premiere or Final Cut, something which is quite demanding or gaming, that this battery is not going to keep the battery, um, you're not gonna be able to continuously recharge the battery while doing those high performance tasks. It's still gonna gradually um, go down and I'll hopefully test that and show you that later, but, um, but that might be hard. So yeah, it's gonna be one of those things where if you've got it plugged in and charging, the battery is still going to fall gradually um, when you're doing those high performance tasks. If you're just sort of browsing Safari or playing iTunes, I think you should be fine. Um, so yeah, that's a bit of an overview of the battery. Um, I just wanted to go into the MacBook Pro specs and just show you that if we look at, for example, this MacBook Pro that I'm uh, using at the moment, it's the 2016 model. And we zoom in here, you can see we've got a 60 watt 61 watt USB type C power adapter, um, which means that, you know, this battery is not gonna be able to keep it charged like the charger from the wall outlet. It's just really gonna be there to top it up. Um, so we might 
jump out of this now um, and we might go ahead and do an unboxing of the battery and I'll give you my first impressions. Alrighty, so battery pack um, on the back of the box here it's got 14 hours for a MacBook, 20 hours for an iPad Air 2, 64 hours for an iPhone 10. So, um, 64 hours, what's that convert to? Like almost three days worth of battery power for an iPhone, almost a full extra day of power for an iPad Air 2. Um, it's interesting though that they've got iPad Air 2 and iPhone 10 on the box. I don't think you can buy an iPad Air 2 anymore, right? So like, why not have iPad Pro and iPhone 10? Like that would make more sense to me. Um, dual USB ports, priority charging, premium fabric wrap. Um, yeah, I guess they're trying to make a big deal out of this premium fabric wrap. I don't know why, but, you know, maybe people like that. USB Type-C, um, 30 watt fast charge, so pretty straightforward. So we'll go ahead and unbox it. I actually don't need the steak knife this time. It's a uh, no steak knife required for unboxing. This one's got no tape on it. So we'll take this out. Now, by the way, this hasn't been provided by Mophie at all. I paid for this today at the Apple store with my own money. Um, and most likely I'll be returning it to get my money back. <laughs> Thanks to that 14 day return policy at Apple. Alrighty, so first impressions. So that premium fabric wrap that they're talking about. Um, I don't know if I'd call it premium fabric. I mean, it is nice that it's not just plastic. It does go all the way around. Um, I mean, sure, like it's it's nice, but I don't understand why they're making such a big deal about it. It is nicer than plastic. I mean, I've got the old battery that I used to, used to have. This is the Mophie XXL from five years ago, um, which is just aluminium. And I think that feels personally really nice compared to the to the fabric one um, but to each their own um, on the bottom it's just got like the serial number so you can register it for warranty um, you've got the buttons here for the I guess power uh, indicator so you've got one two three four so I guess it would be 25 50 75 100 to give you your percentages you just basically press that button um, to give yourself an indicator and you've got here one USB port and one USB Type-C port. So it's interesting because on the back of the box it says dual USB charge ports. So I think what they're meaning is one USB here and one USB Type-C here. So that's their two USB ports. So you can charge one device um, with a standard USB A port and then a USB C port for things like your MacBook Pro or um, any other USB Type-C adapter. And let's see if there's anything else in the box. So you've got here um, an Australian warranty card. And okay, so you've got some extra cables in here as well, which is quite nice. Um, we've got a USB A to a USB type C, which is quite nice. And then we've got a standard USB type C to USB type C cable included. And these look like they're probably maybe a meter for the USB type C or half a meter maybe. Um, and then this one here looks like maybe 1.2 meters. So quite nice that they've included these cables in the box, I will admit. Um, normally they don't give you anything except for the battery. They don't give you the actual power, the power brick. Um, just important to note that. So if you are wanting to recharge this and recharge it quickly, because 20,000 milliamps can take a long time, um, you would need to make sure that you've got something like a USB Type-C high powered adapter. So in my scenario, I can actually use the MacBook Pro adapter, which is a 61 watt adapter with the USB Type-C cable to recharge this battery, which shouldn't take more than a few hours. If you're trying to recharge this though via like the phone, 5 watt adapter or the iPad 10 or 12 watt adapter, you're going to be finding that 20,000 milliamps is going to take a long time, like possibly over a day and a half to two days to recharge. So take that into consideration. Once it's charged, you're going to be fine. You can just continuously keep topping it up. But if it drains on you and you need to recharge it quickly, um, unless you have a USB type C and a USB type C power adapter, it's going to take you a long, long time. And they don't include that adapter. So that adapter, I think, um, from memory, if I look on the website here, 
Like for another MacBook Pro adapter, you're looking at another $69 Australian on top of that. Um, if you wanted to get the Apple branded one, um, but you know, it's just gonna be an extra added expense if you don't have it. So that's that. So what we might do is we might move the packaging to the side and we might plug this into the MacBook Pro and see how it performs. One, I guess, minor kind of complaint, especially with a battery this big and not really knowing how much power it's holding at any particular point. Like you've only got these four buttons to go with and it is a big battery. Like there is room, I think if you know, they added an extra small module um, to do it. Um, but on my old Mophie, one of the big selling points for me for this particular battery is that I actually had a, a Bluetooth module in here, which paired with the Mophie app. It was called the Power Station app or something like that. And while your battery was charging, you could pair it to your phone and then you could launch the app and actually monitor and see the battery health and the battery status of the battery. So if you're wondering, oh, do I need to charge it? Is it topped up? Um, where is it sitting? Is it on 50% or 80%? Um, and you didn't want to just use those buttons there, you could actually just use the app on the phone to get a more accurate reading. This battery doesn't have that. So you basically just got to trust that these LEDs, um, 25, 50, 75, 100, are going to give you sort of all the information you need. And I think for people who are, you know, going camping or taking this away for um, longer periods where they're not going to be near a power outlet, I think that would be a great extra feature to sort of add on um, to take the product from being great to like really fucking awesome um, because I think, you know, those people are going to really want to monitor how much battery they're taking and how much they're using. But overall, um, it's fairly solid. I couldn't imagine that this would get damaged fairly easily. It's in a plastic enclosure. Um, it doesn't say that it's waterproof or drop proof or anything like that, so you will have to be careful with it. Um, but yeah, overall, not too bad. Alright guys, so thanks for watching this video on the Mophie USB Type-C Power Station XXL. Uh, if you have any questions about this product then hit me up and leave a comment down below. You can always reach out to me on Facebook and Instagram as well. Uh, if you like this video then chuck it a like, if you didn't like it chuck a dislike and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!